Good afternoon. An Albuquerque man fed up with the crime in the city confronts what he says is a shoplifter in action. Weeks later, he believes he saw that same woman featured on APD's Crime of the Week. Here's News 13's Jackie Kent with the video and what police have to say about it. Yeah, Kim, the man says he sent us this video because he saw a story on News 13 earlier this week about a shoplifter, and he thinks this is the same woman, and police think he might be right. Yep. Can you take that out of your bag? Take the what? He says he caught her in the act. I just saw you put it in your bag. I'm recording you right now, too. A man who wants to stay anonymous says he was shopping at Smith's at Paseo in Wyoming last month when he saw a shoplifter and confronted her. Open up your bag. I sat there and put a freaking body wash on my freaking Yeah, in your bag. Take it out. He followed her as she tried to get away. What do you do with kids? Damaging property now? In a big hurry with three kids in the back seat. Four kids. The KRQE viewer sent us these clips after he says he saw our Crime of the Week segment showing a woman stealing makeup from a store in the Heights. He thought of the woman he captured on his phone a month earlier. Police also see the likeness. This is definitely the same person. It's the offender that we're looking for from previous shoplifting calls. And obviously she's up to her old habits and just terrorizing the town basically by ripping people off. And this seems to be her full-time job. But they don't necessarily agree with his approach. You guys are f***ing idiots. Don't go after these guys. I mean, they're very violent. They may be small, stealing something petty, but they're going to turn into a violent offender if they're cornered. We showed the video to other shoppers, and they'd leave their phones in their pockets in a similar situation. No way. <laughs> it's just too risky in this area. I, I wouldn't talk to them. I might let security know, but beyond that, I wouldn't do anything. Even the man who took the video is having some second thoughts. Observing and reporting, there's nothing wrong with that. Intervening. There is an issue with that. The man says he believes the woman stole more than $500 worth of merchandise from that Smith's. He didn't turn on his camera until after she had put it all in her bag. Came back to you. Okay, thanks to Jackie. Now, there was a second woman featured in that crime of the week with the makeup thieves, you might remember. Police believe they have identified her. A 12-year-old Cleveland.